Hello everyone and welcome to something a little bit different on the channel. Uh, welcome to my experimental Animal Crossing series that we're going to be running here. So this is just an idea. I want to, you know, kind of dip my feet in the water here a little bit and see how you guys feel about it. So Animal Crossing is a play game that I've actually played quite a lot, if you don't know. And uh, I'll show you how many hours I've got in a second. It's definitely in the 200 range. Uh, but I haven't played it like an insane amount where there's nothing left to do in the game. But I have managed to, uh, you pretty much get to the end game. And uh, now I'm at basically at the point where I'm trying to design my island. So, um, first of all, let me show you how many hours I've got. Let's have a look here. Uh, you look in here somewhere. Let's have a look. 195 hours. So about 200. Uh, yeah, I, I played quite a lot. This is kind of like, you know, I go and play this game after I'm done gaming for the day so I can game after I game. Um, and the idea behind this series is to... Well, I wanted a new game to play, first of all. Um, so, first of all, well, let me, let me get a watering can so we can do some watering while I uh, talk about all of this. So, let me just go buy one from Tom and Timmy over here. Um, but basically, I was looking for a new game to play on YouTube, specifically, um, because I found myself, as you guys know, I've been going a little bit harder on YouTube lately, and, um, oh, I was hoping for the ele elephant watering can. I've been going a little bit harder on YouTube lately, so I found myself needing a little bit more game time. Which is funny because, you know, I stream four to five hours a day and I'm currently trying to put up up to four videos a day. But, uh, <laughs> uh, which means I play more games after the stream to make videos for YouTube. But I needed to, I, I felt like I had a little bit more time where I could fit in some more games. So uh, I was thinking, you know, what could I play? And someone brought up the idea of Zoo Tycoon on the stream. And I like the idea of it because it kind of gives me a game where, you know, I can kind of... I can kind of play it whenever I want. And, you know, it's... Nothing can really go wrong. So, you know, there's going to be no problem with making content on it. Like, I just load up the game, play it, and then I can kind of inject my own personality into the game on, like, a single-player story game where you kind of just watch the dialogue all the time. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And then, you know, after a couple of hours, I'm going to react to the dialogue. Whereas Zoo Tycoon, you know, I can kind of, like, inject my own personality to the game. But then, you know, I was thinking about it. And, uh, you know, maybe Animal Crossing is the way to go. Because I've been playing this game already. Uh, I can definitely inject my own personality into it. Um, which you can already see with me running around in my adorable little bear, bear outfit here. Which is my go-to uniform right now. Um, so, I don't know. I'm giving it an idea. Uh, giving it a go. Maybe you guys are not into it and, uh... You know, we axed the series, but I feel like it's worth a go. So, you know, don't get connected and attached to the series really fast because, you know, it, it might not stick around because I don't know how people are going to react to this. Obviously, like, I'm normally playing Overwatch. And, uh, you know, you can always say, well, just play whatever you enjoy. And uh, you're not wrong in that. But it's about finding a balance between what I enjoy and what you guys enjoy. So, you know, let's see if you guys enjoy this, because I definitely enjoy it. Um, I love playing Animal Crossing to relax, and uh, I haven't played it as much lately, I'm not gonna lie. As you can see, like, my island does not hit, like, you know, end game creation. But I've started to work on it. I might not be as fast as other people, but we're working on it. So, as you can see, uh, as I water these flowers here, we have, like, I basically have eight flower patches and uh this has been my project for a long time now and the goal with these flower patches is to create eight flower patches of each type of flower and then hopefully which as long as the design is correct i've been following a guide but apparently the guide is incorrect but now i'm too committed i can't go back so, we're kind of just hoping that it's going to work anyway. I can see this red uh, mom is out of place already. And we're going to have to dig it up in a second. Uh, so, let's grab my shovel. 
And uh, since this is the first episode, soon as I'm done with watering, I'm going to give you guys a little tour of the island. And uh, we, we can see what we're working with and what my plans are as well. Um, uh, a couple of notes, I guess, before we really get going here. So that, that I meant to have a green mum in that spot over there, which doesn't matter too much. I already got like one green, so I've got all of the colors of this type of flower already, so it's not a big deal. And I know you might be judging me right now, but like, dude, your watering uh, game is not on point. You're standing in all the wrong spots. You're not efficiently watering those flowers. What are you doing? <laughs> Look, you're not wrong. My, my watering game is definitely not on point. I take it easy. You know, anything you see me do is not going to be highly optimized. But that's okay. I play the game in my own way. And uh, that's how everybody should be playing the game. And, uh, you know, speaking of playing the game in my own way, I am someone who doesn't like the time travel. Um, I like to try and gain most things myself. Now, I I've definitely been given a lot of stuff. Um, I've got quite a big animal crossing community on my discord server so uh you know they, they give me things from time to time but i try not to take too much because i i for me like i feel like it takes away from the joy of the game if everybody's just giving me everything i need so anyway that's my flower patches that's my the biggest thing i've ever done on my islands and i'm proud of it you might not be thinking it's that much but you know it's <laughs> it's big for me and i like it um Another thing I like to do in this game is fish, and um, we'll get to that in a second. So, every month so far, I have caught all of the fish. However, in May, I don't believe I've caught all of the fish yet. Now, you might be looking at this disaster over here and thinking it's a disaster, and you'll be completely right. Um, the reason why it's a disaster is because I put these buildings in the wrong place. Uh, originally, I was going to have two squares between each building. Um, to give you a lot more space to get between them, but I did it wrong and then I, I thought I was gonna commit to the one square between each building and then I was like Nope, that's not the way I'm gonna do it. This is a complete disaster So this building was here yesterday now I moved it there Which I believe is gonna line up with the new place new location of this building Which is gonna be one square to the right which is gonna give me two squares between each building which gives you an insight into the plan that i'm going for here and if we take a look at the mini oh wrong button uh wrong button if we take a look at the mini map real quick here or the map um you can you can kind of get like an idea of what i'm trying to do now i can't move the the crosshair around the screen to show you anything but in this little building area here where you see sheldon i'm gonna have five buildings which is gonna be three on the bottom row two on the top row and then to the left of the town center, we're going to be doing the same with the other five buildings. The first one is going to be mine. Uh, it's going to be three on the bottom row, two on the top row. Um, you can see we've got Able Sisters there at the... Well, let's just go show it in game so we're not just staring at a map the whole time. Uh, so down here, we have Able Sisters. So over on the left here, we got the Able Sisters. And uh, this is going to be staying here. And the idea behind this is that when you get to the island, I want a pretty fast route to Able Sisters. And also a pretty fast route to the clothing shop. But also, because you can probably do it faster than that. The thing that I wanted to do... Or the thing that I didn't want to do, I should say, is that I started these eight flower patches before I started thinking about anything else on my island. And since I committed so much time to these flower patches, I decided to build around the flower patches rather than, you know, move all the flower patches and put the two buildings right at the front, blah, blah, blah. So you can see I've got my uh, red squares here, which is where this is cr oh, where Nook's Cranny is going to go. And then we're going to have a beautiful setup of Nux Cranny on the right side, Able Sisters on the left side. We're gonna have eight amazing flower patches and everything's just gonna be right in the world. They're gonna have every single type of hybrids. It's gonna be amazing. Um, as you can see, I got random flowers all over the islands. That's because I kind of just move them from my flower patches when things go wrong. Now, let's have a look. Um, you probably want to meet my villagers. So, I, I'm not that close with my villagers so far. 
We've got some hook over here. Do I look bored? Sorry, that's just how my face looks when I'm bored. Haha. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he doesn't like me that much. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you as well. Not many people on my island uh, are that fond of me <laughs> at the minute because I don't really talk to them. Um, oh, I wanted to get rid of Godzilla. So we got Godzilla over here. He's next to the camping site. The idea was, you know, anyone strange comes to the camping site that we don't like. We scare them off the Godzilla and they kind of just run away. But, you know, I'm not really into that anymore. Ooh, a message in a bottle. Let's have a look what we got here. Open it up. Uh, dear muscular stranger. Oh, yeah, that's me. I had a moment of clarity during a run as high and came up with the absolute coolest DIY idea. Uh, I'd kind of like to keep it a secret, but I'm going to trust you. Shh. Now go get those arms building. Oh, I reckon we got a squat rack. Log pack. What is this? How am I going to work out? Oh, okay. So it's like a backpack of logs. So you run around it and your legs get thick as heck. Okay. Um, I don't know if we... Well, I don't know if we can meet every villager. Uh, how do we know if they're indoors? Dina's house. All right, let me show you my favorite. Oh, Dina's not in right now. I think there's like the smoke or something coming out of the building if they're in. Okay, so uh, this is uh, Sheb. Um... I don't really get along with Chef very well. Very well, he's a bit weird. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll talk to him. I don't normally talk to him, but you know, just for the video. Uh, it's been a while since we've talked. I think I've been having a lot of weird dreams lately. Maybe my jar of palak paneer finally went bad. Don't know why. I keep it in a warm, damp place. <laughs> my dreams. We talked every night. Sometimes you had two heads. So I'm betting that right now is real. God, that music's annoying, man. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's Sheb. Yeah, he keeps to himself. Don't know if it's by choice or just because, you know, oh, he waved goodbye to me. Or if, uh, you know, I don't really pay enough attention to him. Uh, let's see if anybody else is in. If not, we can run around and find them. Oh, here we go. I think this is Penguin Girl. I don't quite remember her name. But Penguin Girl, she's okay. She's a bit too much for me. She's very energetic and overwhelming. She wants to be a pop star one day. Oh my gosh, fine. I should have read the instructions, whatever. Ugh. Oh, what's up, Daniel? Uh, well, I'm making a wooden full-length mirror. I dreamt the idea when I fell asleep watching Maglevs in Love. It's about trains in love. One of them... Hang on, not important. It doesn't matter if Maglev Mike took their relationship off the rails. <laughs> because I'm building a thing. Hey, Daniel, do you want to know how to build a wooden full length mirror too? Yeah, sure. Oh, I'm down with that sprinkle. I'm going to be the first pop star slash fashion designer slash DIY guru to write down all my recipes. All right, we got it. So that's sprinkle. Like, I can't say I dislike sprinkle. Um... But, um, she's just overwhelming. Good. I'm an introvert, okay? She's all up in my face and, uh, you know, speaking too much, basically. Uh, let's learn this DIY recipe right here. Um, wait, did I not get it? Oh, did I already learn it? Wait a second. Oh, wow, that's actually kind of fancy. That's not too bad at all. I wouldn't mind one of those in my bedroom, actually. Uh, okay, so I don't think anyone's in here. I just bought it his house. You know, you got to keep your house wet. Just in case. <laughs> oh, here's Dina. Dina's my favorite villager, as you might have noticed. Daniel, how long have you been here? I guess I'm sort of spaced out. I've been daydreaming lately, but I'm starting a new... <gasps> no! So I'm happy. They just want to try... No, 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 no. Uh, please stay, Dina. It's true, there are things I've yet to do on this island since you don't want me to leave. I think maybe I'll stick around here after all. Woo-woo. Yeah, Dina, she can't leave, man. I can't believe she's thinking about leaving. I give her more attention than anyone. I'm shocked. Uh, I don't know what this guy's called. This is Vic. Hey, how you doing? 
I think he's uh, Norwegian or something. All right. So what to do now? I'm trying to do a Norwegian accent and somehow it's come out Indian. Day's getting away from me. Yeah, uh, I don't know much about him. This is Frita. She started on my island. She had a crush on me. Uh, so I haven't really talked so much because, like, yeah, I'm not interested, girl. Have I went any FaceTime with you lately? I didn't steer anything right. <laughs> you did? Uh, I know it can be a bit much sometimes. Yeah. Well, at least she's, you know, picking up on the signals, dude. You know? Uh, who else have we got around here? Uh, oh, somebody's in here. Uh, who's this? This might be Kitty. This might be Kitty. I'm not entirely sure. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's got a nice house. Got a friggin' piano, man. Nice bed. Loving the style. Uh, wonderful to see you here. Meow. Anyway, this is Kitty. She's all right. She calls me darling sometimes, and it weirds me out a bit. But, yeah, she's okay. Um, which leaves Sheldon. Uh, is Sheldon in? Oh, Sheldon's, yeah, he's, he's out having a run. Sheldon likes to work out. Um, nobody in these either. Let's see if we can find Sheldon real quick. Uh, but I do plan to expand the island a lot. And during this series, you're going to see that. Uh, every day, we're going to come in with a new goal. Um, for the video and we'll try and, you know, figure out what we're gonna do and take it to the next level. So I'm hoping, and again, you know, I'm gonna be gauging your reaction to this series to see if we're gonna take it like really far or whatever. Uh, if people aren't interested, you know, then I'll just, I'll play the game by myself at night and that'll be okay. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. If, we, if we do play this for like a month or two, then, you know, we, we'll see this island come together because I do realize right now it's a, it's a bit of a disaster. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to find Sheldon. So I think the best thing we're going to get is a picture of Sheldon. Um, so I'll show you Sheldon. Let's see if there's anyone else we've missed as well. Um, oh, Mr... Kairano, uh, he's a grumpy dude. I like him. I like him, actually. Yeah, I feel like every island needs at least one grumpy dude, you know, to bring the... Just to, You don't want everyone being, like, super happy, you know? It's going to be, like, too, too much sweetness. You need that one guy as, like, the salt on top of your, like, chocolate chip cookie, you know, because everybody knows that, you know, chocolate and, and chocolate chip cookies are better with a little bit of salt on top. So everybody needs a grumpy dude. So Sheldon... We're not going to find him. He's a little hamster. He likes to work out. And um, that's Sheldon. He's pretty cool. He's tied on my island. Um, anyway, let me get this balloon here, see what's inside, and then we'll have to call it for this episode. Um, and anyway, let me know what you guys think of an Animal Crossing series and trying to build this island up here. See if we can make it look good um, in the comments below, of course. Oh, glasses. Hey, they don't look too bad. I don't like them enough, though. If they were more, like, circular, I'd be into them. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button so that I know you're liking it and I can make more of these. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a good one. Peace.